Hi, welcome to Nets Developer. Please, if this is your first time of visiting my channel, please take a moment to subscribe. Thank you. Today, I'm going to guide us on how to set quarter size on Microsoft Word document using A4 paper size. We're going to accomplish that using document margins. So, first of all, you need to be sure that you have your ruler bar active. However, you can still do that uh, on the layout by specifying the parameters uh, by entering the figures, but it's easier to do it using the ruler bar. So you will have to go to your view and ensure that your ruler bar is active. So you see if I uncheck the box, it goes off. If I check it, it returns. So you have to ensure that your ruler bar is active. And then um, the next thing you need to do is ensure that your page size is A4. That's your paper size. So you have to go to layout under the page setup group. You ensure that your paper size is A4. So mine is set already to A4. You have to ensure that your margin is normal. So the margin, in a moment, you are going to change it to custom. But I think it's fine to leave it at normal so that um, it will not uh, develop any challenge. Um, so the next thing that we need to do is go to file and options because I'm going to be using um, inches as a unit of measurement. So since I'm using inches as a unit of measurement, it's, um, it's fine to be sure that um, everything is in inches. So feel free to use any... Um, unit of measurement, but you need to convert from the value we have in inches to that very unit of measurement. So if you are using mm millimeters for an instance, you have to convert these values to uh, millimeters. So you go to file, go to options, and under options, you go to advanced, under advanced, you will have to scroll down. Um, we are looking for show measurements in units of. So this very uh, command is what we are looking for. So you will have to check inches. So mine is already in inches. So you can change it to any of these units of measurement. But we are using inches since the parameters are be filling into a uh, custom margin is in inches. So you have to ensure you check OK. OK. So the next thing is go to your margin. And then here you go to custom margin, like so. I think it's simpler this way. There are other ways that you can do this. But you would love to use this way because it's easier. So we under our margin tab, you see we have margin, we have paper, we have layout. So there are numerous things that you can do here. You can adjust the edge of your footer and all those things. You can decide to apply the um, you know commands to either the whole document or you know a certain section. But we are not going to look at all these things. So let's assume we are applying to the whole document. So if you are applying to the whole document, what you will have to do is ensure you do control a so that it to be applied to all the sections so if if you have different sections on your word document and you just put your cursor on on one part of the section you now go to margin to set these parameters it will be applied on that margin uh, it will be applied on that very section it's not going to affect other sections so you have to be sure you do control a so that it would affect everything so we go to our margin, custom margin, and then we pass in the parameters. Under this margin tab, you need to be sure it's under margin tab. So we now say, OK, top is 1 inches, left is 1.3, and then bottom is 2.5. Just need to change it this way for us to have a quarter size. Right is, is 1, no need to modify. So we just say, OK like so. So when you do it, it's going to adjust the margin. Because quarter size, I don't think we have any paper here. 
that just come as quota size. If there is, what we would do is, you know, go to the margin. You can just Google the quarter size and then you now come to where we have sizes and then you can you know, specify your width. If it's in inches, you just enter the width and height of your document here. But uh, since there's no particular paper size that we can print direct uh, for now, so you would love to use this way so that at the end of the day, it will be cut. This other excessive part that we have on the bottom, it has to be cut off. So some, some parts at the top, you know, it might be cut off too, so that it will give us a quarter size. But it's mostly going to be um, that at the bottom. So when you have this, you need to ensure that the ruler bar is has specified you know, your bottom margin. So the next thing, let's generate a domain text so that we can set a page number. I'm going to have equal lorem. And let me take uh, 50. So I have 50 text here. I'm just going to centralize it like so. The next thing that I'm going to do is add my page number. So we have to go to insert. And then we have page numbers. I'm going to select bottom. Then I decide to drop your page number in on the document, be it top, bottom, right, left, so it's completely up to you. So I'm using bottom. So I have my, you know, I have my page numbers inserted. Let me increase the font size of the page number. So I'm going to use a rotator. Uh, like so, I'm going to say font size 16. Or maybe I should make it 20 if I want it to be really wide. So when you have this, the next thing to do is adjust your margin. So this particular part is for your footer. It's the area that you can key in your footer. So what we have to do is just drag it up. So you know where you can know the um, area that it can edit, the editable part of the document. You know where it ends. So if you double click on this you know, point on the ruler bar, you see there is a line there. So you have to ensure you drag this page number closer to that line. So I think it's fine. We'll move it a bit forward. So when you have this, you've already set your document photo size. And what happens is when it's printed, after that, it has to be cut and you know, added to your ad binding. So thank you for watching my video. Leave a comment. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, and if it's your first time of visiting my YouTube channel, please take a moment to subscribe. Thank you.